Let's go. Welcome back to Mexico. We are back almost one year later. <laughs> We're in Tulum this time though. We came with three of my friends. One of them is my cousin who has never been south before. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty excited to get started here. We also surprised Chad and Rochelle from our first video last year. They had no clue that we were coming. They just moved to Tulum. And we found them at the supermarket. Yeah, so they were not expecting to see us last night. Yeah, and we got to see Eggsy this morning again. Yeah. So we are at our first stop of the day. This is Cenote Calavera. It is pretty much fully enclosed. It's like a cave you can jump into. There's two smaller holes you can jump through. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So we're gonna go do some jumping and check it out. cenote of the day and looking really good with our mask marks <laughs> <laughs> this is casa cenote it's more of an open water cenote no cliffs to jump off just more snorkeling yep. and a lot of scuba diving uh, the first one was great it was 250 pesos for entry we had to pay an extra 150 pesos to bring the gopro in i think they also have an additional charge for drone if you want um, the next one we got to was 150 pesos for entry and 100 pesos for removal control. Mm -hmm. So and this one, what do we get to see? Hopefully a crocodile. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll go take a look and see if we can track them down. Our last stop of the day, we are currently at Explore Park. We're here for the Explore Fuego experience, which is at night. It's from 5.30 p.m. to 11. Mm -hmm. Pricing can vary there from coupons online you can get. So. Oh, what did we spend? I think we spent about 140 Canadian. It's pretty awesome. We get a uh, 10 zipline course. The last one ends in a big water zipline. They have amphibious vehicles you can do. Swimming underground. Full buffet dinner. Yeah, they've got a full buffet included. Unlimited non-alcoholic drinks. Uh, it's a pretty good deal, I think. <laughs> <laughs>
is day two in Tulum. We are starting our day off with another cenote, maybe the most well-known cenote in Tulum. This mm -hmm. is Grand Cenote. You know who we should have gotten to film this intro is his cousin Dayton. <laughs> he pronounced cenote every single <laughs> way that's not correct. Canada. <laughs> that was yeah. a good one. Anyway. Yeah. So this one is, is it 500 pesos per person? Yes, each. So it was kind of expensive, however, it is stunning. And this one, what do we get to see? Turtles. Hopefully. Definitely. I've already seen some. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. They're okay. everywhere here. Yeah. But yeah, man life jackets are mandatory, but they are included in the price. It's a really good spot for snorkeling. And it's... you get a mask included in your price too, but we brought yeah. our own. And it's only about five ten minutes from the main intersection in Tulum so super easy to get to as well five minutes maybe ten if you there's traffic yeah. It was like definitely on the expensive side for cenotes, but um, beautiful. There's so many turtles. We got to see tons of turtles. They're super cute, and you get to swim through the caves and stuff too. Uh, tons of bats, which is cool. Yeah, a lot yeah. of bats. Yeah, it's not super big, but there's plenty to see that'll keep you occupied for a little while there. And, and it's easy to get to, get easy to get in and out. Yeah, it opens at eight in the morning, and I would suggest the earlier the better. So whether it's like right at eight, we went at around nine, nine thirty, and it's a lot quieter than midday. There is people starting to pile in. So yeah, so get yeah. there early. We are at Akumal Bay. Mm -hmm. There is lots of parking coming up to the beach, but you have to pay for parking and beach access. So what we did is we came to Loha Restaurant, which is at the end of the road, and as long as you purchase food or beverages here, which I think it's a minimum spend of two hundred pesos, mm -hmm. you get full access to the beach and snorkeling. And I mean, you, you're getting a meal and then snorkeling for free, basically. And we were going to eat anyways. I mean, like, you can obviously choose for yourself. If you're not going to eat, then maybe you want to just pay for parking. But we just drove by all the people that were trying to get us to pay for parking. We said, no, no, we're going to the restaurant. Yep. And yeah. And so. we'll take the two for one and get food, drinks, and snorkeling. Yeah. So, so we're going to go start with snorkeling first and hopefully see some turtles. Let's see if we can find some.